section, we are going to learn about benchmarking. What is benchmarking? Benchmarking is the process of comparing your own organization operations or processes against other organizations in your industry or in the broader marketplace. Benchmarking can be applied against any product, process, function, or an approach in business. Common focal points for benchmarking initiatives includes measure of time, for example, range time when it comes to maintenance, quality, cost, and effectiveness of maintenance crew is one of the KPIs that you could use for benchmarking. In other industries, customer satisfaction is a key component. The intent of benchmarking is to compare your own operations versus competitors and to generate ideas for improving processes, methodologies, and technologies to reduce costs, increase profits, and strengthen customer loyalty and satisfaction. The best levels of performance may be found either inside one's own organization or in other competing organizations. Benchmarking uses best practices as standard for evaluating activity performance. Benchmarking can either be internal or external. For internal benchmarking, we are talking about the best practices within an organization that is within different units of the organization, for example, different plant sites that perform the same activities can be compared. The unit can be the best performance for a given activity set. The plant unit with the best performance for a given activity set becomes the standard, and other units then have to target and meet or exceed that performance standard. For external benchmarking, it involves comparing our performance with the best in class or what is deemed as the world-class performance. This process often involves looking beyond the firm's core industry to firms that are known for their success in a particular function or a process. Let's dive into the types of benchmarking. The different types of benchmarking are 1. The product benchmarking, also known as reverse engineering. It is an old age practice of product oriented reverse engineering. Most organizations buy a competitor's product and tear down to find out how the features and performance compare with their own product. This usually serves as the starting point for improvement. Number two is the competitive benchmarking. Corporate benchmarking have moved beyond product-oriented comparisons to include comparisons of processes with those of the competitors. In this type, the processes studies may include marketing, finance, HR, R&D, and many more. Number three, process benchmarking. This activity involves measuring discrete performances and functionalities against organizations through performance in excellent similar business processes. Number four, strategic benchmarking. This differs from operational benchmarking in its scope. It helps to develop a vision of the changed organization. It helps to develop the core competencies that will help sustain competitive advantage. Number five, global benchmarking. This is an extension of strategic benchmarking to include benchmarking partners on a global scale. For example, Ford Company in USA could benchmark its dealership maintenance function with that of the Mazda Company in Japan. Let's look at how to initiate benchmarking process. Because any process product or function in a business is eligible for benchmarking, there is no one standard approach. Typically, a process involves, first of all, defining the subject of the benchmarking study. 
then followed by defining the process or attribute to be studied in detail. Then you select and define the measures, followed by selecting the comparison sets. Then you collect the data on both the benchmarking subject and comparison sets. You assess the data and identify differences and measure the gaps. Then you follow up with analyzing the root causes of the differences or gaps. By defining those gaps, you can then itemize the improvement initiative to complete those goals. The next step is to communicate the goals. You may have to adjust the goals if needed and then communicate. Then after the communication, the next step will be implementing the improvement initiative and measuring results. The last step will be reporting on the results, identifying improvements and recalibrating. This brings us to the end of the benchmarking process. Click on the next button.